Yeah. Oh, when, the, when the snake thing got hot, yeah, all at once, uh, all at once, uh, people were wanting the interviews, and boy, old Marvin Norcross is sending me around the television stages. She, nobody ever wanted to talk to me before then, and and and, and we were doing. I, I don't know where the hotel or motel, I guess you call it, is, but. It wrapped around, kind of like this table is, and in the middle was a big, like, garden and a swimming pool, and all the people that the singing was down there, and groups was down there, and everybody was around the pools during the day. Radio st station called me and said, uh, we'd like to get an interview. And I said, well, I said, you know, we're in a bus. I don't know how I get, oh, no, no, no. I said, we'll send our best interviewer. We sent Pat Devine over there and said, our best interviewer, we'll, we'll come to you. What room are you in? I said, 113, whatever I was in. And they said, we'll send I said, oh, all right. Boy, I was really feeling important. Didn't even have to. All, all at once, some, Geraldine and Jan was down in, out there with all them people on the fans and all down there by the pool. All at once, somebody knocked on my door, and I opened the door, and there stood a girl. It's when miniskirts were popular. Yeah. There stood a girl with the least on that I have ever seen in my life. Not only did she have on a miniskirt, everything she had on was mini. It just <laughs> nothing hardly. And black. Mini nothing. Uh-huh. And, and she had, you remember a walling sack, those little walling <coughs> yeah. sack tape recorders looked like overnight bags? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what she had in her hand. She knocked on my door, and I opened that door, and looking out beside her, everybody down in that garden was looking up. <laughs> well, there she stood with that wall and sack tape recorder. It looked like an overnight bag. And she said, I'm Pat Devine. I said, you certainly are. <laughs> 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 she said, uh, she, and, and look, I just stood there like an idiot. I didn't know what to do. Uh, Geraldine was walking across, uh, and, and it's a fact. She'll tell you the same. Geraldine was walking across the, the thing, and she took a step and just froze right there. Her eyes, I think she's still there when the girl come out. But anyway, she said, well, can I come in? I want to get an interview. I said, yes, that'll be fine. I said, uh, do, do you think it would be probably more comfortable down in the garden? She said, oh, no, it's too hot. I said, yeah, it's going to get hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> so so she, come, she come in there and sit down. She said, uh, how you like, before she even undone her tape, she said, how you like my, my new dress? I thought to myself. <laughs> Don't tell us what you thought. You forgot it, honey. <laughs> she, that, that, that is the longest time I ever spent anywhere in my life. Now, you know how the, my girls are. Boy, they're above board. You, there ain't no foolishness going on with them. And, and I'm sitting in there. I, I know what everybody out there has got to be thinking. And I'm sitting in there, and mm. she's interviewing. Right. She's interviewing, and she keeps on and on. And, on. <laughs> and she said, she said, how long have y'all been in? And I told her. She said, well, I know as gospel music people go, she, she said, uh, uh, staying long time. How long you plan on being in it? I thought probably thirty more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well, well when, when, when she finally said I'm going, I just said, "Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Get this woman out of here and let me try to get down there." And I knew I couldn't go down there and tell everybody out there that Damn. this lady that wasn't no night. Bag. That was a walling sack tape cord. She walked out the door and, and she took a. I let her get about five steps and I said, Thanks a man, you Miss Design, Miss Divine, for bringing your little walling sack tape recorder and recording me. <laughs>